two people are literally in the parking lot about to fight. Like, be for real. I'm just gonna take these next few minutes and kumbaya. God had a blessing with my name on it when I went to Target today. 80, 85, 90, 95. Firm and loose. <laughs> <laughs> VIP. Okay. What's All the right. I don't know. Because they about to get exposed. Mm -hmm. What's up y'all? Happy Saturday. We at work, we are late. <laughs> it's been crazy, it is 12.56. First client's supposed to be here at one o'clock. Today's lineup is, I have all volume sets today. Um, my first one is a volume fill-in. My second one is a light volume fill-in with brows and my third one is a light volume full set. But y'all, today is, um, it's crazy. I am, let me grab my thing real quick. Oh, okay, I don't have too much time to talk because my client should be here in like one minute, two minutes. Um, but yeah, today has just been really crazy. Today is October the 21st and tomorrow, October 22nd, is going to be the one year mark from, for when my baby passed away. And um, so I'm just in a funk, I'm in a mood. I'm trying to pull myself out of it. Um, today is going to be a pretty full day. So I'll just take you guys along with me. That I, I really decided to vlog today just because sometimes being on camera helps me to kind of keep it cute, keep it together. I don't know. I don't know where this vlog is going to go. I don't know if it's going to be emotional or not. Like, I don't know. <laughs> but I know that I'm working and I know that I'm going to be hanging out a little bit later um, just to keep myself distracted. So that's going to be it. Um, I literally spent all morning, I'm like shaking, like I, I'm just, I don't know. I spent all morning just kind of like laying around. I've watched, I've, I've been binge watching Teen Mom, the next chapter. Really love that show. So I've been binge watching that. So I think I'm gonna watch that today or at least listen to it while I'm working on my clients because normally like I don't have anything in my ears, I'm just listening to the music. I'm kind of zoning out or I'll listen to an audiobook. But I think if I just watch the show, I think it'll help me to kind of like focus my thoughts. One second, focus my thoughts on, you know, what I need to be doing. So I'm about to get set up. I'm about to start on my client because she is here, even though she's like two minutes early. Um, I'm gonna let her come in. So yeah, y'all just, y'all gonna see.
Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you. I've been hanging by myself, asking for help, but nothing seems to work on you. Yeah. Finish with that one. Let me turn my music off because I got copyrighted in my last video. All right, so finished that client. Let me cut my money. Got done with that. So I um have a break until and you child. This episode of Teen Mom Next Chapter it was. Ugh. crazy like it was good listening to it and it was still a good distraction from like what i got going on but in this particular episode that i'm watching um ashley so her brother passed away and um so it just you know they were talking about grief or whatever and her mom she just talked about like how her mom is having a, a rough time right now you know because she just lost her son and uh, trying to show up for those other kids like the other kids that she has i guess she has a younger sister and just trying to be there trying to show up for her younger sister she's like it's just hard so um ashley offered to have her little sister come and stay with her for a while i get it because it's like still trying to be there because you still have a kid left you know it's it's, it's tough sometimes I, I definitely can relate to that like showing up and still being a mom when i'm at my lowest has been one of the most challenging things. Thankfully, Mason is just the sweetest little boy. He's so resilient. He's so sensitive. He knows when I'm just having a rough time. He knows when to hug me. He's full of love. He gives me kisses and hugs when I need them. And then also he does spend time with his dad regularly, which is nice because then I kind of can just get a break and I can just really allow myself to fall apart. But anyway, child, we're not about to get off into all that because I just don't want to be sad. Like I'm trying my best not to be sad. I even was like, let me just do my little makeup today so I can like look a little bit better. Say if you look good, you feel good. So I'm trying to tap into that energy. But I just decided, um, let's go to Target. <laughs> there's a target right down the street from my job and i kind of want to get something to eat so i don't know i have an hour before my next client so yeah let's just go to target yesterday i was gonna go my friend um joyce who was in one of my other vlogs with me she's um she's a booktuber and so she told me she's like girl target has buy one get one 50 percent off um, of books and so I was gonna go yesterday just was not in the mood I just could not get myself together but today I was like you know what it's down the street um I looked online and I saw a few books that I might be interested in getting so yeah we we gonna go get some books and whatever else Target decides no we're just gonna get books that's it we're not gonna we're not gonna do the most we're, we're just gonna get books yeah Child, I didn't came to the ghetto Target. These two people are literally in the parking lot about to fight. Oh, I couldn't get it. <laughs> I couldn't get it in time. And this is so awkward. I don't, oh, my keys. I don't have my tripod. Child, this lady literally just walked up to this lady's face and was like pointing at her and talking about yeah go back to your effing car or something child and if that was over a parking spot then baby it's never that serious but anyway i am getting stared at <laughs> this is crazy y'all let's let's get in here child i'm trying to beeline to the books but it's a lot of people in here they got the christmas stuff out already i'm not ready for that yet we not ready. Let me put my dang. It is packed. Oh, I know I shouldn't have came to this 
ghetto Target. This is the one that I don't really like, but it's literally right down the street from my job. And a lot of the books that I had looked up. Oh, this is cute. Yeah, he did check out with me. I had the keys. This is cute. So I didn't hear a call for it. Um, a lot of the books that I was looking at were actually in stock at this one versus the one that is closer to my house. That one is a little bit smaller, so they don't normally have a large inventory of things like books and hygiene and hygiene products and stuff like that. So let's go buy some books. one of the books that I had on my list to get. Check my took screenshots of everything. Layla and Regretting You. Oh, it's right here. These are two of the f books that I wanted to get by Colleen Hoover. I'm like browsing these books. Let me know if you need to look at something over no, here. I'm Actually, watching Lessons in Chemistry on Apple TV. Oh, and okay. And it's so good. And then I thought, I'm down here for a week with my mom. And I thought, oh, I should just get the book. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I do that. I listen and read at the same yeah. time. Yeah. Just. And I would think they would, I thought maybe they'd bring it back out since it's not a TV show. Oh. A lot of their books are like buy one, get one half off. So I was yeah. like, let me come up here and take advantage. I know. <laughs> I know. It's my weakness. Mine too. <laughs> and our library, it literally the receipt shows you how much you save oh, yeah. every time you check out a book. And yes. I'm like at two hundred and fifty dollars. I have four books at home right now from the library. And I'm still up here. Like, well, if I can get some on sale, then that's I an know. even better thing. So I heard a lot about um Taylor Jenkins three. So I tried. I tried my best to read Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and I just couldn't get through it. But I am gonna try it again. I kind of want to try something else by her, but I, that's not really what I came to get, so I'm not going to do that. Is it a number six fish meal? A number six? Yes. Medium or large? Medium. Um, can I have a vanilla shake for the drink? Okay. Anything else? That's it. Okay. Just drive around. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yo, I had to get me a little McDonald's for lunch, but I need to text my client because I'm I'm gonna be a little late. <laughs> but sis gotta eat, so let me text her. Child, where's her number? Here it is right here. So yeah, I got my books. I'll haul them for you guys in a second because I just need to get my bearings in order. I feel like I'm being rushed. This guy literally walks up to me as I'm book shopping to get my number. And I'm like, excuse me. Then he reaches his hand out to like shake my hand. And I'm like, I don't touch people's hands. I don't know where your hand's been. I'm just annoyed. It's just a weird day. And then he's like, what are you doing tomorrow? And of course, he doesn't know what tomorrow is for me. I get it, like, but I just didn't like his approach, one. And two, like, I'm just not, in, like, I, I don't, I don't want to talk to you. Like, no. He's like, oh, can we exchange numbers? No. I have a man. He's like, you can't have friends? I hate that follow-up question. Like, no. If I was your girl, would you 
be okay with me being out in public and a guy asks for my number and I say I have a boyfriend would you be okay with him being like oh can you have friends and, and I say yeah like be for real anyway y'all let me get this food this camera about to die <laughs> I don't have my tripod so y'all just floating on the dashboard I just need a moment I'll, <laughs> I'll be back <sighs> y'all I just had to check back in once I was more calm because I literally just lost my mind in the car. Okay, let me relax. My client told me, she's like, relax, eat your food. <laughs> she was the one that rescheduled from earlier in the week. Mm. I got a filet of fish. That's the only thing I get from McDonald's. So I ordered my food. I pull up to the window. I had already pulled out my card that I was gonna use. I was using my debit card for my business account because whenever I'm at work and I go and have lunch or I eat, then I use my business account because it's technically like lunch, you know, for work or whatever. So, pull it out. Then I ended up looking at my receipt from Target. I don't know what, my card just literally disappeared. Like I could not find, I still can't find it. I had to pull out a different card and use that card. Cause I'm at the window, I'm moving stuff around looking for my card, I could not find it. <laughs> the lady, I mean, she was fine in the window, but she was like waiting on me to pay. They busy, they got a long line. I'm like, oh my God, where's my card? Where's my card? I could not find my card. So I had to use a different card. It's fine, my card is in my car somewhere. I just don't know where it is. But anyway. I am going to haul the books for you guys, but in a second, my nerves are bad. And as a lash artist, I can't be like that. I can't be shaking while I'm doing my client's lashes. Like, that's not, that's a recipe for disaster. I'm just going to take these next few minutes and kumbaya. I need to say a prayer. Because I need my nerves to just calm down. Love it when I get so high and drop that thing so low. Make you sit right here. Now you can't go back home. You love it when I get so high and drop that thing so low. Make you sit right here. Now you can't go back home. You love it when I get so high and drop that thing so low. Make you sit right here. Now you can't go back home. You love it when I get so high and drop that thing so low. Make you sit right here, nah, you can't go back home I'm drank up and I'm banked up and I'm fake, fake You bend it down and you poke it up and you elevate it I'm drank up and I'm banked up and I'm fake, fake You bend it down and you poke it up and you elevate it, you elevate it I came over, I ain't sober, I'm still drunk, that's hangover Might run it back when this page over, you the best thing I done slaved over, gon' arch you back and been way over it's overdue for that understressing Over him, now you underdressing Call me up and I come finessing Like, ooh, we shot it, what it do, what it don't Baby, you a queen, you can move how you want You was rocking with me when I couldn't stay afloat They ain't never saying nothing, wavy to a boat Like, eyes up, look at me, now I'm the captain Brought the camera, time for action Split the legs just like a fraction Tuck the napkin, time for snacking You a mother... Meal. Tell me that it's mine, baby, tell me that it's real Hit it to the max, well, tell me how it feel It's gonna be a minute, cause I'm in it for the thrill Make her feel like heaven, she gon' put me in the wheel And willingly, I wanna do anything she wanna do I ain't even wanna boo, but this is what the karma do It's hard to be apart from you, cause ooh, I Love it when I get so high, and drop that thing so low Make you sit right here, now you can't go back home you What's up, y'all? So we done working. So we'll do our money count like we normally do. One, one, one. 60. So we got 460 today and that was three clients two fields and a full set um so i'm about to head out but before i go i wanted to haul my books with y'all 
because y'all, when I tell you, God had a blessing with my name on it when I went to Target today. And I was complaining about how busy it was in ghetto, but I ended up getting a really, really, really good deal. So, um, I guess I'll show y'all my books and I will share how much I actually paid for the book. So mind you, the sale was buy one, get one 50% off. But then also with the red dot car, I think I got an additional like 20% off, I want to say. I don't know how he did it because we went around about. We was trying to figure it out because, you know, they do the price match or whatever. So anyway, um, I got four books. So the first book I got was Long Shots by Kennedy Ryan. So I had been wanting to, This book is thick. Oh, yeah, she thick. This book, how many pages is this? Oh, it has a bonus epilogue in here. But in total, it is 460. Well, that's the author's note. So technically, I guess technically is 428, 428 pages. But anyway, love Kennedy Ryan. Loved um, Before I Let Go by her. So I definitely wanted to try out something by her. I know this is the first book in the Hoops series or whatever. I ain't a book girly like that, but I like to read. And so I wanted to try something else by her. So that's why I got that. So I ended up paying $9.25 for this book. The next book I got was um, Wrong Place, Wrong Time. This is by Gillian McAllister. There she is. So I had screenshotted this. Um, I'm in two black girl like book groups on facebook or whatever and i had this in a screenshot but then also my friend uh joyce she had told me that this was on her tbr so i figured well i'll get it and then she can borrow it for me um when it's time for her to read it so i got that and i ended up paying seven dollars and 67 cents for this book so excited to read this i'm a thriller girl if i have not mentioned that by the way i'm a thriller girl but i do like romance if it's like real life like so for it for instance like before i let go um i like the fact that it was like about romance but it was also about like mental health um the friendship group was in there grief was heavy in there so i just like it to have other types of elements besides like fluffy romance because ain't nothing fluffy about my life or my love life to be honest with you <laughs> and then the next book i got was um regretting you by colleen hoover I know there's just such an uproar about Colleen Hoover. Some people love her, some people hate her. I have not personally read a book that I did not like by her. Even Ugly Love, A Verity, like I still loved those books. And for me, there were elements in there that I truly, truly related to on like a, a spiritual level. So I can appreciate a Colleen Hoover book. So Regretting You um, is the one that I ended up choosing to get. And I paid $4.54 for that book. And then my final book, I just got four books. My final book is Layla. I definitely had this one on the list. Heard a lot of things about this book. And then my friend Joyce also told me um, the other day when she was recommending some books to me, um, she recommended Layla as well. And let's see, this was $9.25. So um yeah these are the four books that i got i still have four books that i got from the library that i'm working on but i decided to go ahead and just get some books from my own personal collection that i can like write in and stuff like that i definitely got two colleen hoover books because i normally read her books in between books if that makes sense so some of my more heavy thriller books sometimes i need a little bit of a break after i get done reading those books and for colleen hoover i love her writing style it's very easy and it's not something that i feel like i need to like take notes on or anything like that like i can read it, I can enjoy the ride and then I can just put it down and move on to the next book so those are the books that I got super happy with my choices and to be honest with y'all the, the selection at the Target that I went to it was really nice so I'm thinking about going back I don't know how long this sale is gonna last um I should have asked I guess maybe but anyway and then so here's the thing Poor, this is how the blessing really works so um in my phone when i was back at the book section there was no signs or anything that said that the books were buy one get one 50 percent off so what i decided to do was go on the app and the books that i got i just put them in my cart for like in-store pickup so that the price can register and so i can see how much i should be paying for each book so i had went and when i did that my total should have been 31.80 for four books so that was already a deal right like 31 dollars for four books yeah four, four really good books at that like 
$30, like what? So anyway, um, got to the register and he started ringing my stuff up. And so it came up to like $36 and something like that, which wasn't a huge deal, but I'm like, I know they price match. So this is what the price was online. So we were going through each book and he was like trying to price match each book, but the total still was not coming up to 3180. It was still like 30 something. So then he went through and I was like, I show him in the app. I'm like, this is what the total should be. Um, because I was also getting a 5% red discount, red card discount. And then with the books being buy one, get one half off. So I don't know how the configuration was was different on the phone than it was um at the store but anyway he started just going through he like looked at my phone going through going through he was like your total is <laughs> what did he say 26.83 and i was like okay and so i just paid and left so i still ended up paying less than the 31.80 that i thought i was gonna be paying so like i said god had a blessing with my name on it i needed it today today was a crazy day but it was still a good day like i wasn't too down in the dumps all day um had some really good clients today had some really good conversations today got some support today yesterday my friend um she sent me flowers i'll put them on the screen they're so beautiful and you know i had people like reaching out and stuff like that and it just meant a lot to me because everybody's going through stuff right life is just happening for everybody and unfortunately the world had to just keep going but my world didn't like i just still feel like i'm stuck in a trance i still feel super shocked that my daughter is no longer here and it's gonna be a year tomorrow like i still cannot wrap my mind around that even though i have not smelt her well i've smelt her because i go in her room and i yeah, that's a whole different story. But I, I have not physically been able to touch her or see her or talk to her. Um, and so it's just been, it's been tough. It's been tough. But today, my win is I was able to get out of the house. I am the type of person where when I'm depressed, I stay in the house. I don't eat. I try to stay in the bed. I ain't gonna lie to you. I take sleeping pills, like, to just be, like, just to be out of it. Like, I that's just what I do. But I was able to function normally i was able to make some money today i was able to get me some little books or whatever from target and so now i'm about to go and hang out and have a few drinks so i will probably bring you guys along with me but i don't know how much i'm going to vlog i just really want to just enjoy my time out um yeah because life is just weird right now so yeah i'm gonna finish up in here finish cleaning up and stuff like that i'm so glad that i'm not i don't have to work until tuesday so I, i'm just gonna take my time i brought my flat irons because i was gonna like do my hair but i'm just gonna brush it and call it a day so yeah i'm gonna check back in with y'all once we get to doing whatever we're gonna be doing oh okay we are at what's the name of it robusto Rob girl say it robusto <laughs> it's called a robusta robusta <laughs> Mm. 
yeah, we came up here to my sister's job, and it's so funny. Everybody keeps thinking I'm her, and I'm wearing all black, which is what she wears to work. So it's kind of like several people have been like, oh, does she work here? Or they'll be talking to me like I'm her, and I'm like, oh, that's my sister. Um, and I just met the manager, I think, or whatever. So we're having a great time. Waiting for my brother to get here, so I'm gonna check back in. You know, once we get our little food or whatever. No, I want Erica to, uh. Oh, I can put this right here. Hey! When you eat your, I mean, when you drink your uh, She letting it marinate. Cheers, Starling. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. Very smoky. You're not gonna like it. Say give it a minute. Uh, but wait. Yeah, wait. And let the let the uh yeah, kind of smoke, smoke. Yeah, let that ice get down. It, it, the the more you the longer you let it sit and melt, the sweeter it gets. So right now it's very healthy with the smoky kind of taste. But you're not. You're gonna hate it. But I love it. It's crazy when you know your fan. Yeah, I love a good view on honey. How do you do? You like this? Um, I like it. I was about to say you want me. It's ginger. It's, it's ginger lime right? in here. Uh, do you want to do it? You know, I tend to think that instead of having this as a decoration, actually, because it helps. Us. You know, sometimes it helps. So I'll take it. Yeah, you know, I'll give it a little. You know, I'm gonna put it back on here. You know, it's a little cute. It's just a little unit. Sad, like yeah, I'm, you know, like I'm at the pool when I be sitting on the side. Like yeah, I like it. I don't know. It's not bad. I don't know. I've been making a face. Hold on. I don't know why I've been making a face, but I've been tastes like soap. You may have to have them remake this. Oh, what? This tastes a little soap. soapy. Soapy? You don't like it? I don't know. I just taste it the ginger. That tastes like soap. Tastes like soap? Yeah. They need to remake that. <laughs> y'all so this is the end of the vlog and if you're still here i first want to say thank you so much for watching if you're not new here thank you guys so much for the continued support this has been hands down one of the toughest years of my life but creating content has been one of the things that has kept me going many of you guys have been so warm so gentle so loving and supportive in the comments so thank you guys because that is very much appreciated during this time next i want to send a huge shout out to all of my family and friends who consistently check up on me you guys can see in this video, my people show up, okay? They took me out. They made sure I wasn't alone during this time. And in this moment, I'm just grateful. I'm grateful for you guys because you're the reason I can smile, I can laugh, and I can enjoy the moment, even if it is brief. My heart aches every single morning when reality hits me and I miss my baby girl so much. Like, words cannot even express how much I miss her. And so if you've experienced a tough loss and if you're trying to navigate grief, just know that you're not alone. This journey is devastating and oftentimes it can get very lonely. Make sure you're surrounding yourself with people who will uplift and support you. And most importantly, just give yourself some grace. I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, if you like this type of content. And I'll see you guys in my next video.